I will show you the demo of Autosar Client Server Cell Simulation. In this model, I have a scheduler, application software component, and a NVRAM server. Here, the NVRAM client is an application software component. This scheduler is running at the rate of 10 milliseconds. Inside the scheduler, I have different ECU states right from startup mode to an off mode. Now, let's take a look at the NVRAM client block. Here, I have multiple tasks corresponding to an ECU state. When an ECU is in the startup mode, NVRAM client makes a call to the read block function. Here, I have two RAM blocks named RAM block 1 and RAM block 2. This RAM block 1 function calls the server to get a copy of NVRAM memory. In a similar way, RAM block 2 value is read from the NVRAM block 2. When a periodic 10 millisecond task is called by a scheduler, it will check for error status in the NVRAM. When there is no error, it takes the input constant value and adds up with the previous RAM block 1 value. Here is a similar periodic task for RAM block 2 as well. When an ECU is in a shutdown mode, RAM block 1 value will be returned to NVRAM block 1 by invoking the NVRAM server through the write block 1 function. Now let's take a look at the NVRAM service emulation block. Read block will be called by the client when an ECU is in a startup state. It reads the NVRAM block 1 value from the basic software layer. Similarly, NVRAM block 2 value will be read in this block. When an ECU is in a shutdown state, it writes the RAM block 1 value to the NVRAM block 2. It always takes less time to read the NVRAM value, but it takes a few seconds to write into the NVRAM memory. To simulate this delay, 50 millisecond delay is introduced in this state machine. Then NVRAM error status is checked in this block. Here, RAM block 1 and 2, NVRAM block 1 and 2 are hooked to the test points for analyzing the results in Simulink Data Inspector. Now it's time for simulation. Um, let me do the simulation in a normal mode and hit the play button here. Oh, simulation is complete. And let's take a look at the scope here. Here you can see the RAM block value has been increasing because we have been adding the constant value with the previous RAM block value. But when a ECU goes to a shutdown state, it copies the RAM block value to the NVRAM. That's what you see here. Let's take a look at the simulation data inspector. Even here you can see the NVRAM and, and RAM block values. Um, let's come back and take a look at this after we run the NVRAM client in the cell mode. Okay, now let me change the NVRAM client to cell mode and then hit play button. It takes a few seconds to complete the simulation and then generate the code. Um, yes, yeah, simulation is complete now. Now let's take a look at the data inspector for comparing the results. Let's do comparisons. Wow, um, both the results look same. Results what we got in normal mode and the cell mode are the same. Okay, now let's take a look at the code as well. In the shutdown um, function, uh, here we can see a RTE interface which is making a call to the write block because it is trying to write the RAM value to the NVRAM. And in the startup function, you can see that 
there is an RTE interface which is making a call to the NVM server to read a value from the NVRAM memory. Now we have completed the Odessar client server SIL simulation. For more details, please visit Odessar support from embedded coder webpage on mathworks.com. Thank you.